Hi, this is Ivy DeMuerta, and I'm with Evolved Magazine. We're here today at the Timeless Art Gallery for Corey Miller's La Luz de Mi Corazón. Let's go check it out. Well, we meandered outside and I found some really good people that you might know, you might not know, but you will know now. Gentlemen. Uh, Gustavo Ramada. Tim Shelton. Corey Miller. We might know that guy, I don't know. So, you're next to me, so you go first. <laughs> uh, I started painting about five years ago and just really inspired by the tattoo industry. There are going to be a couple new pieces I'm doing there pretty large and they're inspired by like Virgin Mary related stuff again and then like Mother Nature so doing a lot of animals and like wild like wildlife and I don't know a lot of patterns and flowers and colors. Gustavo is a great painter amazing painter and uh, I don't know he hasn't been painting that long I've been painting and trying to paint for a long time I've been tattooing for years and I, I say back to when it started so for a long long time and these new guys are amazing five years but look at how good his work is incredible I got a couple paintings in here and this is the fourth show we've had at Timeless Art Gallery and it's been like really fun but like I said that, that's the weird thing about artists you know this guy's really talented but very smooth not saying any information <laughs> but yeah it's a great show man fourth one I really appreciate his help and Gustav asked about a year ago yeah. it's yeah. finally happening thanks Tim good old generic question what do you like to paint with oil acrylic mainly acrylic I would love to paint with oil more I just haven't had the time but it's been all acrylic and gouache and watercolors a little bit paint on absolutely anything I possibly can and just mess with different mediums constantly and just even mix some charcoal um, ink tattoo to ink everything. <laughs> Mine is needles and pigment on skin, but as a little side hobby, I paint once in a while. No, I've actually painted for quite a while, a lot longer than five years. See, he says five years because it makes him look so much better. It's like, <laughs> look at how good I got in this short amount of time. God, you want to hear a horror story? Yes. This is terrible. I'll just right here yes, off the top yes. of my head. I'm 44, so I've been painting about 44 years. I heard my first painting was a crib painting. <laughs> yes, I did some cave art with, with a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's good. For the first art piece I ever did was I pinstriped my mom and dad's beetle with a marker all the way down the side. Nice. That's what I was saying. Were you five? I might have been last year, I don't remember. So did you draw on walls when you were a kid too? Diapers? Uh, yeah, I think so, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember a horror, horror story when I'm painting. What did you guys get into tonight? <laughs> Any final last words for the moment? This is our fourth show here at the Timeless Art Gallery. And we've got more booze than last time and more people. So I hope you come back next time and see how it goes. We're going to go find some more guinea pigs in interview. Thank you very much. Corey, Tim, Gustavo, get back at you. introduce yourself. I'm Chantal Menard. And you might notice these lovely pieces behind us. I want to interview you about it. This is definitely very unique. Please tell me where your inspiration is and what your mediums are, what you like to do, that whole good thing. What I do, I, I call it reliquary assemblage. So it's kind of like reliquary, like Italian, Catholic iconography. And assemblage is just basically like three-dimensional mixed media collage type of stuff. I work a lot with found objects. I use things that are, you know, like bones or uh, in this case, I used a pig fetus, and there are actually bones in here. I use a lot of resin and pearls. I mean, I don't dismiss it. I'll probably use it. If your grandmother died, I'm going to use it. <laughs> actually, what this is, is this is number three in a series of tattoo machine cases. So this is like a special altar to hold like sacred objects. 
but specifically tattoo machines. The first one I did was called Jolly Roger. The second one I did was called Davy Jones. And this is the third one in the series. It's called the Black Pearl. And all of them were shown in a, a series a long time ago called Handmade, like this big series and book that came out for tattoo artists and their machines. Okay, so pig fetus. I'm very intrigued. Tell me, how did you come up with the whole concept of a pig fetus and doing it glorified in that manner? This piece is called Black Pearl, and so the, the whole concept of throwing pearls before swine, uh, that's kind of how it, how it plays in. And also, too, like, not to be weird, but it's like a little nativity. So it's like the baby Jesus. <laughs> I was totally got that when I saw it. I'm like, okay, so everything you're seeing, I'm definitely getting there, No, there's like, like a little wise man in there. <laughs> And there's a baby Jesus inside. The hands that go with it, for some reason they just look so good together. I decided to just make it a triptych and it's a family now, so. I love them. Do you have a website or anything that you can direct everybody to? My website is chantalmenard.com and that's spelled C-H-A-N-T-A-L, Menard, M-E-N-A-R-D.com. And I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, all that shit. So. I'm going to find you on all of those. Thank you so much for your time, Chantel. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Please introduce yourself. Eric Q. Quesada. Q, I'm assuming, is what he goes by. So tell me, you did this lovely piece right here. How much time does it take? And how did you get started in the whole welding process? And how do you create it all? It is all metal. I basically just start cutting shapes and bending them and hammering them into like the eye socket or the mouth or the nose. And then I just weld it and then cut it as I'm, as I'm going. Once I get almost everything completed, then I'll weld it kind of like together. I'll do a final grind on it and then I'll clear coat it or paint it. It's actually candy apple red mixed with some black and I shot that and then I cleared everything else. Definitely get that. I'm a car girl too. So I was like, oh, I know the paint you're talking about right here. So did this one sell tonight or are you kind of hoping it doesn't? <laughs> no, this, this one actually sold tonight. I hate to see it go, you know, yeah. so. So it is kind of a, a love-hate type thing, you know? Very cool. You guys got that? Check it out. Thank you very much, Q. I appreciate your time, and it's awesome. <laughs> My name is Ivy DeMoretta. Thank you again for joining us here with Evolved Magazine at Corey Miller's Timeless Art Gallery. Remember, Evolved Magazine, artists inspiring artists. Keep your eye out for everything that we have coming up. Thank you.